Okay, so my friend's letting me borrow his Camber Super Soft Flexible Jib Board that's shorter than the one that I normally ride. So I'm giving that a test and letting you guys know how it feels to go from a flat rocker board to a more jibby camber board and if it's scary or not scary and uh, how the responsiveness feels and uh, my overall thoughts and opinions. So stay tuned for that at the end of this video. So let's try this out. I am borrowing a friend's board. It's a jibby one. Camber, never done it. So we're gonna see how this feels. Apparently it has a really soft flex. So this is gonna be my experience coming from a rocker board. Okay, you can definitely feel the, the edge to edge more. definitely feel the the corners kind of digging in but as long as you're aware of it you won't catch an edge so far also this is my first time riding at 15 and 15 stance versus 15 and zero so yeah this board is also a few centimeters shorter than the one I'm currently using And the bindings do not go uh, over the toes. I felt a little grippy like I was going to catch an edge just from being lazy on that. So that's one of the problems with camber and sharper edges. The softer board does ride over bumps a lot easier though. Which is pretty nice, so you don't start getting a lot of chatter. Dude, I thought you had it.
try a box. Sorry, I forgot to record the outro explaining how the board felt to me and the review. So, long story short, the board felt easier to turn and rotate just because it was about two centimeters smaller than the board that I currently ride. Um, so it's not that big of a difference. It wasn't a wide, and I normally ride a wide board, so I had to be careful about not digging my toes or heels in. But the cool thing was, is the board had sharper edges and like different, kind of a different edge profile where the Burton ripcord I normally ride has really dull edges. So I was actually able to carve. So, you know, maybe it's not my skill. Maybe it's just the board. Cause once I was able to like kind of dig into toe side turns and heel side turns, it actually kind of left that pencil thin mark and helped me carve better. Usually if I try to carve on the Burton that I'm using it, kind of just does like a hybrid skidded carve turn so it doesn't like truly like dig in and give you all that g-force whenever you're doing a sharp turn so i did feel that with the better edges um it was soft in the contact points and like kind of the insert packs i don't know i don't, I don't know exactly all the terms that i'm saying but i was able to get like more pop and kind of a springiness from the board being shorter um than my other one apparently i looked up the profiles online and they're both uh kind of in the the same stiffness category but having a shorter board with the same stiffness and not being wide gives you more of like a kind of a flex and spring the other thing that was kind of cool is there was more um i already forgot the uh the term but like when you have both feet and you can kind of like do this and you can twist the board down the middle kind of like a mini corkscrew kind of thing um, that was pretty cool how you could move both feet independently from each other. Um, the front edge kind of was, a uh, the contact point went down a little more than my board. So, uh, there were a few times where I almost caught an edge just even riding on the cat track. Um, I mean, I could feel it kind of dig in, but I was able to catch it. So, I mean, you have to be a little more kind of aware of your, your riding versus being lazy. But other than that, like the edges definitely helped carve and I was able to stop a lot faster. And um, just the board having kind of like overall softness and movement in all directions, uh, I was able to kind of ride over bumpy terrain a little easier and it wasn't as bad on my knees. It was also the first time riding a board with a 15 and 15 stance and I really liked it. Had less pain on my back foot because I've actually been riding 15 in the front and zero in the back and that has like apparently been killing my back leg and I didn't know so it wasn't actually that hard and that much of a difference versus um the way that I've been riding it so the 15 and 15 riding forward just kind of took away the pain it didn't feel weird and the big difference was when I went to switch I was able to go from toe edge to heel edge toe edge a lot easier versus kind of riding backwards in a fake you position down the mountain so I switched my Burton board to 15 and 15 and that's the way that I'm going to go. So yeah, the soft board and it being shorter kind of uh, gave you a little more control as a human kind of moving the board around. But um, I do like my board and the biggest benefit I learned was uh, as a takeaway when I look for my next board is to get better edges, better edge technology so you can actually kind of slow down and dig in to the snow better and a board that's still soft but has control and I may downsize a few centimeters in terms of board length when I upgrade because right now I'm riding a 158 wide board and it's pretty massive so uh, 